God is good all the time and all the time. God is, God is good. good. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your you. spirit. <clears throat> Today the Lord in, invites us, come back to me, return. So it's an invitation and a reminder that we are on a journey towards our ultimate destiny, which is heaven. And we'll also be reminded further by the imposition of the ashes on our foreheads that we are on a journey. So we ask uh, God's grace as we begin this season of Lent. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return you to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent and leave behind him a blessing, offering and libations for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom quit his room and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord weep and say, spare, O Lord, your people and make not your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the peoples, where is their God? Then the Lord was stirred to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offenses, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew in me. Cast, not, cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be, Be merciful, O Lord, Lord, for we have sinned. sinned. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim, proclaim your praise. Be, Be merciful, O Lord, Lord, for we, we have, have sinned. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ to be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who did not know sin so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain for he says, in an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they've received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret. And your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, They've received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they've received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to be fasting except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father, who sees what is hidden, will repay you. the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You might want to be seated for this. I have been reading this gospel annually for quite a long time. And this year, is the first time it ever dawned on me that there is this, this balance between doing things so that other people may see you and doing things so that God may see you. Mm -hmm. What you think of me has some value and I, I should try to give a good example. But these things that are traditional practices of devotion, prayer, and fasting, and giving to those who are in need, um, those those things I should not be doing so that you may see them. Uh, I should do them because they're right to do. I should pray because I should pray. And I shouldn't pray so that you can see me pray and think how wonderful I am, wonderful as I may be. But. Uh, the same goes for almsgiving. Um, I should take care of people, but I should not do it so that you can see me do it. And fasting, I really like the, uh, the way Jesus says this here. When you fast, do not look gloomy. I like to look gloomy. I like, I like for people to think, oh, that guy must be fasting because 
he's got that sour face. No. Uh, I ought to fast because if I can eat whatever I want, whenever I want, that's not realistic. Not in today's world and not ever. Lots of people fast because they don't have food. And what am I doing to make a difference for them? I don't give alms. I don't take care of people financially because, or so that you and others may think I'm really, really good. I do it because it's right to do. And whatever reward I have coming will come from God. This Lenten time is about doing things before God. This Lenten time is really about um, behaving as we should and knowing that we do it because it is the right thing to do. We belong to Christ through our baptism. He, we are baptized into him. He gave us a share in his life and we live that life by doing things like prayer and fasting and almsgiving. Today we are going to have ashes put on our foreheads. I didn't take a look, but I suppose the ones I got this morning are gone from taking off a sweater, putting on a sweater. I'll get them again. And <clears throat> they will stand for all of us here as a sign that we all belong. We all have one Father. We all have one Savior. And this time of Lent is given to us to reorient our attention to God. <clears throat> 